Hello everyone and welcome to the last video of this series. In this series we have discussed so far pre-initiation and activities in pre-initiation. Initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and control and today we are going to discuss closing. I would say this series can be a game changer for you if you are preparing for your PMP exam. Please watch the previous video. I'll put it on the link here. You can watch it. Pre-initiation, initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and control. If you are watching this video the first, I do recommend first watch these videos in sequence. I don't think so. It will be more than two hours all combined. But this will give the context of entire documents and activity in the PMP exam. So closing. In closing now closing starts when deliverables are accepted by the client or project is no longer needed now no longer needed can be either the organizational strategy has changed okay the organizational strategy has changed or you don't have budget or reason for the project does not exist it can also be that the risk of doing the project is more than not doing it. So you don't do it. Okay. It can be multiple reasons. Whatever the reason is, step one is always you get approval from sponsor. Yes. Now sponsor here means the person who basically affiliated who started the project. You get approval from the sponsor and ask him, hey sponsor, can I start closing the project? Once the sponsor give, go ahead, you start closing the project. In certain cases, sponsor directly call you and ask you for closing the project. Then immediately you start closing the project. Now once you start closing the project, the first activity is start writing final report. Final report is kind of a summary of each and everything that your project may entail. It can be the risk the project has faced, quality, the lesson learns, everything it is a summary report. You start writing the final report. Once the final report is written, you show it to sponsor. And once the sponsor feel, yeah, this is good, you can go ahead. Then you share this final report according to communication management plan not everybody can access it it depends on the communication management plan whom you are going to share the final report while final report is being written you also start updating project documents and we have already discussed the documents documents plus plans are all being updated once documents are plans being updated they are updated and you archive them the in the organizational database you archive the document into the organizational database. Once that is being done, you also in parallel start writing lesson learn register. You are writing from the team asking them to update the lesson learn register. Once the lesson learn register is written, it is updated. You put it into the lesson learn repository, which is actually the part of OPS. Both of these project documents updated and lesson learns they both goes as the uh, part of OPS database please understand this thing this final report this project documents and lesson learn register they are being written simultaneously okay once this is written all this is done now you release the team please don't release the team before otherwise who is going to do the work now you release the team the team is released you start doing uh, uh, administrative closures that things are being released procurements are closed throughout the project you see if some procurements are open you can put that into a final report administrative closures are being done things are being closed and once everything is closed uh, you basically close the project and maybe even celebrate the success here you celebrate success. Achha, I want to add something here. If we go a little bit above, when you are writing the final report, if I 
put a final report in a little bit context final report while you are done doing it at this context you will also measure your benefit management plan whether the intended benefits were met or not were they met or not okay because that goes into the final report and the lesson learned register so this is the entire series of how the all projects documents and everything gets updated so we discussed pre initiation initiation planning execution monitoring and control and closing we had discussed 18 plans 33 documents and each and every single thing every single thing has been covered in this series all these thing were considered taking predictive mindset if you want me to make a video also explaining the entire agile in this series you can put it into the comments and if i receive 100 comments i will make the agile series yeah i am putting a condition here just wanted to know that everyone watch till the end okay one more thing if you haven't taken the training you can contact me at my whatsapp this is my number whatsapp number or you can email me if you prefer email communication you can email me here i hope this series was useful for you and at any time if you have any question feel free to contact with me i'm going to combine all this and maybe next sunday i will put it as a one video so that it can become easy for you also put in the comment do you want me to make this in the combined one video that becomes easy for you thank you